versus film. Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome to Man vs. Film. This is going to be a review for Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home is directed by Sean Anders, the man who did Horrible Bosses 2 and the actually quite good We Are The Mothers. It stars Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, Thomas Hayden Church, Linda Cardellini, Hannibal Buress, Bobby Cannavale. Great cast. So the story is Stepdad Brad, played by Will Ferrell, is a, a radio host who deeply wants to be loved by his stepchildren. He's married to Linda Cardellini's character and he can't have children himself, so he's taking these kids in as his own, and he just the thing he wants most in the world is for these kids to love him as much as he loves them. But his perfect life starts to falter with the reintroduction of the biological father, Dusty, played by Mark Wahlberg. And then pretty soon hijinks ensue as the two battle it out for the love of the kids and for the love of the, the good woman. Now the plot for Daddy's Home is really paper thin. It's Probably a plot I've seen done a dozen times in various sitcoms. There's not much substance to it. But then Will Ferrell doesn't usually have a lot of substance to his stories. It just lets the humour sort of flow when it can. It's unoriginal and the storyline feels stretched out and some of the jokes don't quite land as well as what they should. Brad is the typical Will Ferrell character. He's goofy, trying to do the best that he can do, but he's never quite reaching the aspirations that he wants himself to. He always falters and makes a mess of situations. Dusty, the Mark Wahlberg character, really brightens the movie up when he appears into the film. The first 20 minutes of this is really hard going, but when he appears, it starts to sort of kick in the proper humour of it. It really shows you that Will Ferrell needs someone to bounce off of when he's doing his uh, stick. Mark Wahlberg seems to be playing like a character almost from one of his other movies, like, say, Four Brothers or Contraband, that type of character. And it's a riff on that, and he seems to be having quite a lot of fun doing it as well, which is good to see, because I think Wahlberg is excellent in these kind of comedy movies. Like I said, this movie is a really long City ramp up to get started. A good 15 20 minutes where, if I could have, I would have walked out of the theatre and left. It wasn't that interesting. The humour fell flat, the performances were not good at all, and it wasn't until Wahlberg enters the scene as Dusty that the thing really lifted up and started to get a foothold of where it wanted to be. But it does have a secret weapon. The secret weapon is the heart behind it, and that's the heart that comes from this relationship between Dusty and Brad. The two guys hate each other but have a mutual respect of certain things and it's these two together working so well that really bring the movie and drag it back up from the depths it was at. Now as good as appearing as the two main stars, it's the supporting actors to get the biggest laugh. Particularly for myself, Thomas Hayden Church is the boss of Brad's character and his stories that he would tell were ludicrous, ridiculous, but also hilariously funny and completely inappropriate. And every time he was on screen, it was absolutely brilliant. The other character that I really liked was Hannibal Buress. Now he is a handyman that comes to fix something in the house, ends up moving in and staying there and just long out staying his welcome. But he's such a fantastic character and just appears out of nowhere, drops this bombshell of a one-liner and just walks right out the scene again, stealing almost every scene that he's in. Overall, I thought that Daddy's Home was instantly forgettable, cookie-cutter movie making that just didn't really push itself as far as it could have. It had no real edge to it. It was good enough but that's just about all. I'm going to give Daddy's Home 2 out of 5. It's a check on Netflix if you must. If you're a huge Will Ferrell fan, fair enough, or Mark Wahlberg, you might like it. Other than that, it's just a, a mindless entertainment. I'll see you next time on Man vs Film. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my review. And on the screen there is links to two more reviews that you can go and view. And don't forget to click that large subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and you can get my content first and foremost. And if you like this video, you hit the like button under it as well. Thanks for watching.